For Tim and James Bay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I listened with some astonishment to my colleague. The debate that's happening before us is about us expanding this war into Syria. In order to expand a war into someone else's territory, there are fundamental rules of international law. I hear my colleague talk about this huge coalition, but I didn't hear any mention of a Security Council mandate. I didn't hear any mention that this is a NATO mission or that the United Nations has this, haven't been even contacted by Canada, which I find is an egregious oversight. We saw the sight of the Prime Minister laughing the other day about the question of whether or not we were meeting the basic requirements of international law. This is serious. So that the allies that he speaks of, besides the United States, bombing in Syria, the British will not go into Syria. The French are not in Syria. No Western ally is in Syria who is in Syria, however are the Middle Eastern countries that have been fighting a proxy Shia-Sunni war for, for months and years. So, my honourable colleague, I'd like to ask him a simple question. Has this been passed in any capacity through the United Nations, or are we tacitly supporting Bashar al-Assad and his murderous regime? That's the question.